my name is Manga Erasto Aochi Mfaume. Yeah, and my wife is Muamini Erasto Manga. We are in Tucson, Arizona, USA. We have six children, two boys and four girls. My family is everything to me and my hope and my future. I was born in Democratic Republic of Congo, but I left the country when I was 11 years old and I've been in Tanzania and in the refugee camp for 20 years and we lived a very bad life. When I remember this, I can, I can cry. I didn't expect anything for the future in the refugee camp. Living without hope is something which is not good for people. We started the process to U.S. immigration. It was a very long process. It took uh, almost four years. With the prayer of many people, God helped us to be in the U.S. When we arrived, we got many people helping us. Lutheran Social Services welcomed us. Through them, we got our friends, whom I call dad and moms. I think God prepared them for us. This is an amazing family, incredible. The kids tell me I'm their grandma. <laughs> I'm okay with it. <laughs> you know, I asked Erasto very shortly after he arrived, I said, what is the single most thing about this country that stands out to you? And he said, here, I am safe and my family is safe. And that was huge. Watching this family change, get settled into this country, learn how to use a grocery store, learn how to drive, uh, it's just been an amazing experience. I would urge anybody in the community to be a part of this refugee program because together we can really make a difference for all of these families. I think in the U.S. my kids can study very well and have some level of, of education. That's why we are very excited to be in the U.S. Without love, we couldn't do anything. They love me and I love them. They help me and I will love others and I will help others. My name is Jose. I live in Nogales, Arizona for 45 years. I went to Nogales High School. I like to play sport like football, track. Running was my whole life and we did well. In 92, I used to play with my nieces, like in a little pool. My nieces were telling me, throw a die, throw a die. And they were laughing and everything. And something happened and water was almost to my head. I broke my C5 and I couldn't breathe. In that moment, I didn't feel nothing. I thought it was a simple accident. When I had the accident, they turned my life around. I was paralyzed. I was like, they told me like a vegetable because I couldn't move. My name is Vanessa Torres and I'm the home care supervisor here in Nogales for Lutheran Social Services. We do aging and disability. Aging and disability provides attendant care, housekeeping, companion care, respite. We can run errands for them. And uh, we run into different types of situations. Jose came in to Lutheran back in 2012. It was challenging because he's a quadriplegic. He needs to be up from bed with a Hoyer lift and then make sure that he doesn't have bed sores since he's in bed most of the time or in a wheelchair. Yo soy Maria Leal. Hi, my name is Maria, Jose's ex-wife and caregiver. I have been doing this for the last 27 years. When I started, it was very difficult because besides the sadness and going through all this life change, I hurt my back. I didn't have the resources or the equipment to help them. When they started, I was desperate because I needed the help. And I looked for Lutheran Social Services and they gave me the proper training. And I feel happy because they always been patient with me, professional with me, and gave me the resources and the help that I needed. Maria knows me since we got married, and she does a good job. When she comes, she cleans my wounds, then she put my clothes, then the sling. It's lives we're doing on a daily basis. We can't just ignore 
need to be constantly giving them quality of life, the best quality of life that they deserve with dignity and respect. This heart being paralyzed, but I never mad or sad or enough. When I wake up, I pray first, and sometimes when my body is hurting, I, I try whistling or singing. I take it one day at a time. My name is Ahmad. I'm from Afghanistan. I used to work with Associated Press in Afghanistan as a freelance photographer. When the Taliban took over the Afghanistan, Taliban targeted a lot of journalists. One of my co-workers, his name is Shamarai Faizi, he used to work with France Press. Unfortunately, he was one of the people killed by Taliban. Everyone's tried to find a way to get out from Afghanistan because it's not safe anymore. My name is Mukhara Samuftic and I'm Employment Supervisor with Lutheran Social Service Refugee Office. I came in United States as a refugee from Bosnia. I was in a refugee shoes. I still remember the day when I left my home and I still remember I'm holding my two small kids and I ask myself, please God help me where I'm going. East, west, south, north, no clue. And I really try to do my best to work with refugees and I feel they're very close to me. When I arrive in Tucson International Airport, I see staff from LSS and I was excited. Someone coming and supporting me, you know. I remember when I met Ahmed first time, I can see fear in his eyes. But day by day, he was more happy, and he saw that LSS is here for him. Lutheran Social Service helped me a lot. They find a job for me. I was able to buy a car, and I registered to Pima Community College. I started learning English. I was thinking about continuing my patient in the United States as a photojournalist. So Lothran connected me to a journalist and he bought a camera for me. I was super excited about that, so I was so happy. And I get internship to work with Daily Star newspaper. I see my pictures in the paper, so I was so excited about that. They helped me, and now I am able to help the new arrival. We have an Afghan community here. In my days off, when the new arrival coming in the United States, I just help them. They are very happy. I believe it's a gift from God to work in a refugee program and work with people in a need. I really appreciate first from United States. I am grateful and also from Lutheran Social Services for everything.